Hello everybody, I got a 10 book pre-screen back here. Um, feels like there's quite a few books that came back. So let's dig right in and see what we got. All right, so I'll just pull them out of here one by one and see which we got. It looks like there's six or seven maybe in there. So let's take a look. All right, first one, Transformers number 21. Got off white to white pages, which I did expect on this book. Bought a huge lot of Transformers recently, and on, a lot of them had like a slight little, I don't know if you want to call it tanning, but something like that. Um, you can see it a little bit on the front cover and throughout the pages as well. So they definitely got it right. I have gotten one of these back that got white pages, which isn't accurate. <laughs> it was actually a mistake. Um, but yeah, well, I'll definitely take the 9.8. Beautiful copy here. That's a good start. Let's see what the next one is here. Looks like another Transformers. All right, number 35, I believe. Yeah, another off-white to white pages. You can definitely see it on this one. See right across the top. That's got a slight little bit of sun damage, whatever you want to call it, darkening to the cover, as well as the interior pages. But yeah, 9.8. Another cool book. What else we got here? Let's just keep with the theme of the Transformers here. Um, now we got number 37. Um, once again, from the same lot of books. I got a whole bunch of these. I, I don't remember how many I got. It was a ton of books. Actually, I think it was several lots of books. I, I bid low, and I won on several of the lots. So I was a little disappointed that they got the off-white uh, pages or whatever, off-white to white. But this one actually got white pages. So some of them, you know, it's varying degrees throughout. I almost sent them back, but they were, I would say, 40 to 50% of the books were still obvious 9.8, so it was well worth keeping the books, even with a little bit, you know, of the shadows or whatever you want to call it. I don't even know what to call that. Just slight little bit of sun damage throughout. Um, so, yeah, another uh, 9.8. That's three. <laughs> All right. I think that might be it for the Transformers. Okay, this is one I've been trying to get 9.8. I think I've gotten one so far, but I've had several near misses, 9.6s on this book. Um, this one, though, is the newsstand. When, and this, I think the last sale on this book was at the time of this <laughs> video recording, at least, is very, very, very high. And i um, not sure why. I mean, it is the second appearance of Puma. It's hard to get in 9.8. Um, but yeah, this thing is fetching a premium lately. Um, it, tell me in the comments why this book has so much value in a newsstand. I know it's a little bit more rare, um, but what is the significance of this book that it's fetching such high prices? Is it just the difficulty in getting the 9.8 on a newsstand, or is there something else I don't know about this book? Because this one was a little bit right at the beginning of my collecting, um, so I didn't actually buy this one at the time it was on the stands. That was just slightly after this one. Um, so I'd know, know that I even ever read this book, um, as a kid anyway. So let me know. Second Puma, but what's the other significance of this book, or is that it? All right, so that's four. Looks like we do have three more. Anytime I can get 70% on a pre-screen, I call that a success. I mean, that's kind of my benchmark. If I can get seven out of ten, or six out of ten sometimes is okay. Um, you know, I'm pretty happy. Sometimes we get eight. I mean, occasionally we get the 10, but very, very happy and content to get the 7. Okay, let's see. Let's stick to this Amazing Spider-Man theme here. And this is number 307. Very challenging book to get in a 9.8 because of this black spine right here. Um, so, yeah, that will fetch premium. I'm not sure what the value is. Probably three or $400 anyways for the new stain uh, version of this. So, yeah, white pages. Um, yeah, I believe I got this one in on a trade. Um, I think I traded a ASM302 newsstand um, for some cash and a ASM301 newsstand, which he sent me, um, which wasn't nice. But he threw this one in as a bonus. This was a 94 and I mean, it just has some pressable defects on it, so I submitted it as a pre-screen, and we got the 9.8. So I got a pretty good deal on my sale of that 302, if you consider that I ended up getting the 9.8 on this. And I got a pretty good price on selling the 301. So, yeah, chameleon appearance, of course. 
Uh, very, very cool book. There's a little bit of scuffing there, which I think I can fix with some poly watch. All right, two more. Okay, yeah. Very, very, very cool. These, both of these next two books are really cool books. Spawn number one. And I had a Spawn number one up here for a long time. Uh, which I actually sold recently, and the reason I sold it is because I bought five or six copies of this, and I got a great deal on these books. I'm, I mean, a great deal, like for like a fifth or sixth of what they normally go for in high grade. So, and I think three of the six or five or whatever are obvious 9.8 candidates, and I might get 9.6, but I knew I was going to get at least one 9.8. So yeah, this one is going to take the place of the other one. I like to keep one. I don't have to hoard these books, right? Um, but yeah, very, very happy to be putting this one back on the wall. And this one is a nicer copy anyway than the one I had before. This is like a 9.87. <laughs> um, the other one was like a 9.75 and I got the 9.8. It had a big uh, indentation right here that I was able to fix, but there was a slight color break right there. But this one has basically a perfect, almost perfect spine on it. This was the nicest of all the copies, so this is definitely the PC copy. I'll be selling uh, the other ones that come back, whether they be 9.8 or 9.6. Uh, probably pre-screen the three nicest ones and just submit the other three. Okay, this one is G.I. Joe 150. <laughs> this one has a lot of value, and uh, I don't know why exactly it has all the value. It is just the direct. Um, but once again, in the comments, if you know why this one has so much value, um, let me know, because, um, yeah, I know it is the 150th issue, um, it's got some pinups inside, that kind of thing, but yeah, I got this for a pretty low price, and uh, it looked like an obvious 9.8, so I submitted it, this is actually, I thought this was another book, I thought this was G.I.J. 1 when I saw it down in there, um, I forgot that it was 150, and there's a big scratch right here across the case, um, so that's a little disappointing, thanks for the quality control. But of course, I can fix that probably with the poly watch. It's, it's, it just sucks that we have to do that, right? You can't you just get pristine slabs right off the bat? Literally, if you look at the slabs, I would say over 90% of the slabs have some kind of defect on them and uh, scuffs, scratches, whatever. Maybe 100%. I, I really don't know. I, I, it doesn't really bother me if you have a scuff that's like you have to have an angling to see it, but we shouldn't have to deal with that, right? Can we get better um, results, quality control on, on these slabs, especially when we pay how much we're paying to have these things graded? Um, so I did have three raw books come back. Not sure which ones they were. Um, I think I had a valuable Daredevil in here. I don't remember which one, but I'll probably just submit that as a regular submission now because it has enough value in the 9.6. So that's it for today. Uh, stay nerdy. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.